Was there any particular player that was, what, what's the most respectful player that you've been able to umpire over the years that you know that was always respectful, even if you may have missed a call or didn't get a call? Was there a player that you really enjoyed umpiring? You know, my ultimate compliment to somebody as a player would be like, if my daughters brought home a guy like him, I'd be happy. And I'm going to give you a name because he was never a superstar, but he's a superstar as a person. John McDonald um, started with Cleveland, went to Toronto. I think he ended up in Arizona. And I think now he's coaching in the minor leagues, but he's just one of the class acts ever that I've met in the game. I've met a lot of great people, but John always stuck with me as just a class act person. And what player, was there a pitcher and a hitter that were the toughest on you? Um, well, I go back to Nolan Ryan. He wasn't tough on me personally. He was tough on everybody. I mean, he'd let it go with that big oomph. And no matter where it was, I think he thought it was a strike. Um, Randy Johnson was always tough to work because even his fastball moved so much. When, when you saw back then starters would go a lot longer than they do now. And when you open the USA today in the morning, if you saw Johnson was one of your pitchers, you'd say, well, I got to, I got to work hard tonight. He was that good. And the ball moved that much. And which manager was uh, toughest on you, kept you on your game and was able to be accurate with their, I mean, can a manager be accurate with a ball and strike? Uh, High, low, they can. High, low, they can. Um, and nowadays, of course, they have access. And I don't know how much access they have right now. But when I left, you know, players would go in and look at pitches and, and you know, come back and try and tell an umpire the pitch was an inch outside. Like, really? If I was that good, I'd be doing what you're doing, not what I'm doing. But right. um, going back to your question, though, a, a manager like that was Sparky Anderson in my whole career. Um, and he, he came here one time to do an outing back when we were doing it for adrenal leukodystrophy. And um, it was actually in Connecticut, where I'm originally from. And um, he met my wife and he, he met the kids and everything. One time he came out to home plate and um, he said, hey, John, I just between innings now. He said, how's Denise doing? I said, well, she's good. He goes, how about Michael, Aaron, Megan? Everybody good? And I said, yeah, they're all doing real well. Thanks for asking. He goes, by the way, was that 2-2 pitch a little while ago? Was, was that outside or where'd you have it? So it's like one of those things where he came out, you know, asking about the family. And then he sneaks in like, you know, was that 2-2 pitch just outside? Um, but you know what? He used to call here twice during the winter. And I remember picking up the phone and saying, hello. And he goes, hey, John, it's Sparky. How you doing? I go, I'm good. He goes, can I please talk to Denise? And I'd hand her the phone and they'd talk for a half hour. He cared. He was a guy. Yeah. He, 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 God bless him. God rest his soul. He was, he was a good man. 